Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one is a full physique update from Samson Daura at exactly 10 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. And as you can see, this photo was taken at his home, at his famous mirror and this famous spot uh, by the stairs. And uh, he is not in, uh, in, in Kuwait, in the oxygen gym. Still. Now, the word on the street is that he is no longer part of the Oxygen crew. He was supposed to come back home for a couple of weeks and go back to Kuwait and prep for the Mr. Olympia over there, stay there almost until the very end, but he didn't go back yet. And the rumors are saying that he's not gonna go back at all. Apparently, he was also supposed to show up at Dubai Pro, do a guest posing or some kind of appearance. That didn't happen as well. Now, these are all rumors. If I learn anything more about this, I'm gonna update you guys. But uh, as of right now, he's still not in Kuwait. And is he gonna go back? I mean, I don't know. But personally, I don't really see a reason for him being there. I mean, he made so much progress over the past few years from his home, from his home gym. I mean, yeah, the gym in Kuwait has crazy equipment, but really the guys who go over there, it makes sense for the guys who have like huge families like Brandon Curry, who has like, I don't know, five children or something like that, and he needs to get away from that to be focused strictly on bodybuilding. Samson, you know, he lives with his wife, he has a dog, and I'm sure he enjoys being home way more than being isolated over there in Kuwait, so... I don't see how it would be necessary for him to train in, in Oxygen Gym in Kuwait. I think it's actually probably counterproductive. I mean, they're probably paying him some money to be there, but I don't think it is the best thing for him in his situation. So, still, I mean, he might go back, but honestly, I don't really see why. I don't see why he would, but we'll see. Anyways, this physique update here looks pretty freaking crazy. So, the size of this guy is insane at this point. Conditioning at 10 weeks out, phenomenal, it's great, I don't think it needs to be any better, I mean, we'll see if it's gonna continue uh, getting better at this pace, but as of right now, it's great, as far as the progress, do I see any changes, I actually think I do, I mean, I think his arms are looking bigger, I would say his legs as well, honestly, I think his legs have more detail, and they actually look bigger and fuller, and you can especially see it in the front double bicep, so here I think his legs are looking thicker, wider, more detailed than ever before. And again, I also think his arms are kind of looking better, like the biceps are more peaky now and the triceps are hanging lower. I think he added some size in those freaking arms, I mean, this pose overall just flows better now, I mean, we'll see, but I think as he gets leaner, it's gonna just look more impressive. The only quote-unquote problem is that maybe his conditioning is not going to continue improving and get to that level where it needs to be on the Mr. Olympia stage when it matters, but we'll see. Hopefully this year will be different. Uh, as far as the front lat spread, Samson doesn't have the biggest lats, uh, from the front especially. So I don't know what it would look like, but maybe in his case it would look better if he actually flex the abs and push the elbows forward the way Ronnie Coleman used to do it, or Milos Charger, for example, I don't think Samson would lose weight. When you do it this way, you kind of lose a little bit of weight, and you lose uh, lats, but he doesn't have great lats from the front once again, so in his case, I think maybe that would be the better version, but I'm just speculating here. He probably tried both and realized that this one is better. His side poses, despite the fact that he is a little bit taller, like, Andrew Jack doesn't look very good in the side poses, he doesn't have that thickness, chest to back thickness from the side, and I think that's like the biggest downfall of Andrew Jack, or at least it was so far, we'll see this year, maybe it's gonna change, we're gonna see actually in a, in a week from now, but as far as Samson Dauda, he doesn't have that issue, like, in the side poses, he is freaking huge, like, the legs, the upper body, like I said, chest to back thickness, the arms, everything is just massive so he, he he can match Hardy and Derek in terms of size even though he's taller so that's not a problem the only thing about Samson of course it is and it always was the conditioning but you know this year this looks promising at 10 weeks out conditioning looks very good let's just hope it's gonna continue getting better at this same pace because if it does he might be our next Mr. Olympia although this guy right here would probably strongly disagree with me and we want to hear about it, <laughs> Hadi Japan, who just posted um, a video of himself posing. I don't know if this is right now, we're going to take a look at it in a moment, but what is more important here, what is definitely more interesting, 
is the caption, what he wrote here. So he says, if you had a dream that you defeated me, when you wake up in the morning, apologize to me and don't forget. So who is he talking to? Who is he referring to in this story? Is he talking about just generally anybody? Or is he thinking about the guy that beat him last year and took his title away? Derek Lansford. Because I believe he's talking about him. You guys know that Hardy was very salty after losing last year. So much so that he walked away from the stage. He didn't want to stay for her photos. Like he just took his medal and, and then disappeared and ran away. So he is. He's definitely thinking about Derek. He didn't say it's Derek. It's open for interpretation. You can say that it's anybody, whoever dreams of defeating him. Everybody needs to apologize to him when they wake up in the morning. But really, he's the one that needs to defeat Derek. It's not Derek who needs to defeat Hadi. Because Derek already defeated him. Derek is already ranked higher than Hardy. It's Hardy who needs to defeat Derek. And who is probably dreaming about that every single night. And Derek did not defeat him in a dream. He defeated him in real life. Hardy was defeated last year. Things are probably going to be different this year though. So he's definitely talking about Derek right here. He wants to beat him. Will he do it? I think he will do it. I think this year Hardy is probably going to defeat him but yeah i'm saying probably because i don't know now he also posted this video here and he has been posting a lot of physique updates lately but i don't know if this one is recent i mean his conditioning did seem great in all the updates so far but this is basically almost stage ready i don't think he's this good right now I've seen some instagram pages and so on sharing this physique update as hardy at 10 weeks out but I'm pretty sure this is from his last prep, probably for the Arnold Classic. I mean, I don't know why would he post an old video and not say that it's an old video. I mean, he has been posting a lot of uh, recent stuff. But his conditioning here, I think it looks a little bit, like, ahead. I mean, I saw what he looked like a couple of weeks ago. I don't think he could have changed this much in, like, a week or two. So, I think this is old. But, yeah, I have no doubt that he's gonna be ready this year. When it comes to Mr. Olympia, he's probably going to be as conditioned, as good as he was at the Iron Classic. So, yeah, I think he's beating Derek. Will he win the Mr. Olympia? Really, I think it depends on Samson Dauda. Whether Samson brings this kind of conditioning or not. If he doesn't, which is probably more likely the case, based on his track record so far, it's going to be Hardy who ends up winning the Mr. Olympia. But sometimes bodybuilders figure it out and they surprise us. Like, uh, for example, let's say Sean Rod in 2018 when he beat Phil Heath. Who, who saw that coming? You know, there are situations like that. Like in 2022, nobody thought Big Grammy was going to lose. Anything can happen, really. Nobody even thought that Derek was going to win last year. So we can't base our predictions only on last year. Things can change. So we'll see, but this Mr. Olympia is going to be fun. All right, we also got a physique update. This is a current physique update from uh, Nick Walker. As he says, 10 weeks out, no fancy lights, straight out of bed. And you will see a whole bunch of comments saying that he's uh, sleeping in his posing trunks, that he's sleeping with his shoes, that he lives in the gym, because how could this be straight out of bed if he's in the gym? But really what this means is that he didn't eat anything, he just went to the gym probably to do some cardio, and he took these photos uh, before that. Now, in these photos, do I see any kind of improvements from his last showing? I mean, I don't think I can say that. Which is weird, usually when I see photos of Nick Walker, when he's prepping, every year so far, every prep so far, he always looked better than the previous one. It always seemed like he improved something, but at this point, I mean, this prep, I really haven't seen any positive changes, aside from his midsection maybe, that he's controlling it a little bit better in his poses, but we don't know how good the control will be on the stage, we still have to wait to see that. But, like, did his waist get smaller? Maybe, but in this photo in the front lat spread, it doesn't look small at all. Like, it looks like a pretty freaking massive waist. And also, like, his quads, they don't look super wide and popping and so on. So, I mean, yeah, he says this is, like, faster and, you know, no fancy lights and stuff like that. But I'm not super impressed 
I mean, when we're talking about Nick Walker, we're talking about him like placing, you know, inside of the top three, top four of the Mr. Olympia. And uh, this year, there is just so much talent, man. I don't know if he can do it. Like, again, Samson and Derek and Hardy and I think Andrew Jack is coming strong. Oof, at this point, I probably have Nick in the top five, not in the top four. But, you know, he's definitely the guy that can surprise as well. So many times it happened, people doubted him and then he ended up, you know, winning or placing very high. So we know that he's going to bring crazy condition. He always brings it. I don't think it was an issue at any show. You can say that the New York Pro, he could have been a little bit drier, but you can't say that was bad conditioning. So Nick is going to be peeled and dry and he's going to peak well, I have no doubt. But like with his shape, with his waist, with his legs and so on... You know, to crack that top four this year, I don't know. I don't know. He needs to be really insanely shredded. He needs to have perfect abdominal control. And uh, he needs to be a little bit improved. Because everybody else seems to be improving. Now, in the front relaxed, I think his midsection actually looks better. I don't know why his front lat looks so bad. If front relaxed looks so much better. Maybe he can learn to do it exactly the same way he's doing the front relaxed. Just, you know, with his uh, hands on his hips. Maybe that can work, I don't know, but like here, his midsection actually looks better, and uh, his waist looks smaller, but there isn't really much he can do to make that waist look small on stage, it's gonna be big still, but if he controls it better than he did at the New York Pro, he can end up beating a lot of guys who are definitely a lot more genetically blessed in terms of shape and structure. But we'll see. Again, it's going to be a very, very interesting Mr. Olympia. Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.